y'all welcome back to my channel so i wanted to come on here real quick and talk to y'all while i'm waiting on my food because um i ordered me some wing stop because i wanted some lemon pepper wings and my corn so um but i just came back from the mall because i start my new job on monday and i needed to get like some work appropriate clothes um, if you guys don't know, I'm getting ready to be a teacher full time. So that's exciting. Um, <laughs> it's just crazy to me that I'm getting ready to be a teacher. Like what? But Hey, I'm excited. I've decorated my classroom. Um, I'm waiting on some other stuff to come from Amazon that I pretty much made a teacher list of things that I feel like would be good for the classroom um and school started actually yesterday for the school uh for maryland kids well actually i'm, I'm gonna say for the county that i am teaching i don't want to say it on here because you know i feel like that's just something private that i don't really need to say but um yeah like they started yesterday and i have a substitute that's teaching my class um for right now and she's like the best she's an older lady she's been with the county for a long time um and she's just been you know so sweet and just helping me you know she was helping me kind of like set my classroom up at um helping me at like any questions that i have she's been like answering those for me and yeah i just appreciate her so much um she's been teaching a class and you know me being a new teacher Officially, I don't start until Monday, so I don't get any of my equipment until then. Um, I have my, I've seen my classroom. Like I said, I've decorated, you know, for the most part as much as I could or as much as, like, I feel like, you know, I felt like I should be spending my own money on. I did go out of pocket and buy some of the things that, you know, I just want for my classroom to, for it to have, like, a personal touch of my own and also for me to just be comfortable. Um... So yeah, it's it's been really like cool. I think I'm gonna take this weekend um to just like kind of like lesson plan and all these different things. So that's exciting. Um yeah, and I feel like I have a lot of help on the back end as far as like me being a first year teacher and just you know I'm excited. So like I said, I went and bought some clothes today. I did buy some dresses, um, and I bought sweaters to kind of just, like, keep my sh shoulders covered. Um, but I'm not wearing, like, no baggy clothes and, you know, all that stuff. So, I still want to be cute. I still want to slay my outfits when I go to work. So, yeah. I don't know if y'all know, but I was getting, like, my current job that I'm working now. Um, and I'm going to tell y'all about that in a second. Um, but my current job that I'm working now, like... I work from 9.30 to 6, and I, that's the latest job. Well, I'm not going to say that's the latest job because I have worked like, restaurants and stuff, but I'm just so used to being able to get off earlier that it's just, like, 6 o'clock. Like, I can't even, when I get off, I can't even do nothing. Like, <laughs> I'm thankful that it's still summertime and it's still kind of, like, bright outside, but literally, like, I don't even know what time it is right now, but I didn't get, I didn't get off, like, that long ago, so... But it's bittersweet because, um, yeah, tomorrow is my last official day with my current job. But yeah, y'all just kind of wanted to give y'all an update on what I am doing, you know, these past couple weeks or whatever. And yeah. But yeah, I'm about to get ready to go in here and get my food. And then, um, I'll probably come back and talk to y'all probably later because it's, it's getting late and I'm not really going to be doing nothing tonight. But, you know chilling relaxing and preparing to make my exit tomorrow so yeah Hey y'all, so I'm back. I am currently at my boyfriend's house and we're getting ready to plasti dip. 
his PS5 um, little panels. Goes like this. We'll see how this goes. Y'all started taking my braids out because I'm getting my hair done on next Friday. So I'm gonna just take these out because my scalp is just like, I just wanna wash it and just, you know, do what I gotta do. So don't mind my little peekaboo right there. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like um, for, and he's gonna paint them black with the plastic dip. So we'll see how it goes. Finally resting and in the bed. I'm currently waiting for my boyfriend to get here. Um, I am dumb tired. And two, I've just been ready to just kick back in. I've just been ready to see this freaking hotel. I'm staying at the Yotel in Washington, D.C. I just decided to do a nice little staycation type of um, birthday vibe because... I went to Jamaica this year, I went to LA, and I just wanted to be kind of like home, especially with starting my new job. I just, I don't want to take off a whole bunch of days. So I did a nice little staycation and um, yeah, I feel like, I feel so relaxed just being in the room. Um, yeah, I'm excited. My birthday is in about two more hours not even two more hours because it's 10 something but yeah y'all i am enjoying myself i went downstairs and ate at art and soul and i got the pork chop and it was so good it had like barbecue sauce and squash and like this rice i mean not rice like corn something but it was so good and I couldn't even eat it all. Um, I ended up just getting getting a to-go box and saving it. So, um, and the lemonade, I got um, like a lemonade um, something and it was so good. But, yeah, y'all, I don't really, I don't really have anything too much planned for tomorrow. I'm getting my makeup done around 1.30. And, of course, I'm going to go out to eat and probably do a little bit of shopping, but... Other than that, that's pretty much it for tomorrow. I don't really know what else um, my boyfriend has planned for me, but I would definitely let y'all know. And um, I got to show you guys my hair, but I'll show it to you tomorrow after I get my makeup done. Or maybe when I get up in the morning, because I'm probably going to get breakfast. And my boyfriend's trying to go to the gym upstairs. So we'll see. I'm not really like trying to work out. <laughs> while i am like enjoying my birthday so yeah but um we'll probably get like room service to the room from the restaurant downstairs and get that delivered to the room but um yeah y'all i am enjoying myself i'm comfortable as you guys can see like you got the little mood lights and stuff and um i'll show you guys the view over here um tomorrow when the sun comes up because it's it's really pretty um but we pretty much just got the standard king room and it's like real cute so i'm glad i didn't pay extra for the um so they have the premium king and then i think it's a premium king view something and i was going to do the premium king view but i was just like why am i paying that much money just to be staying at home like all I need is the lights and a big screen TV and a nice comfy bed, and I'm good. Um, 
But yeah, y'all, I am enjoying myself. I'm so happy. The girl's about to be 24 tomorrow. And I just really can't believe it. Tomorrow, I mean, next year I'll be 25. And I've accomplished a lot in a little bit of time that I've been on this earth. And I'm just thankful to God that, you know, I've been able to live through everything that I've been through. So it's a blessing. I'm a blessing. And I'm just highly favored. Yeah. Oh, so some good news today, you guys. Well, let me tell y'all the bad news first, and then I'm going to get to the good news. Okay? Okay. So, the bad news was I left home, had my bags packed, ready to go, and I'm in a car getting gas, turn the car off, and my freaking battery dies. So, I try to start the car, and I'm just like, it's not turning on. It's like making this clicking sound. So, I'm like, automatically, I felt like it was the battery, but I was just like, why is my battery dead? So, long story short, my dad and my brother had to come to, you know, jump the car, and we drove, well, after they jumped my car, then we were able to drive to, like, an auto place, auto zone, something like that, auto, advanced auto or something like that, and I had to buy get a, buy another battery. So, I was like, look, I'm a, I gotta be on moves this weekend. I can't be, you know, not having my car. Even though my boyfriend is, you know, he's driving here too. So we'll probably be in his car for the um, majority of the weekend. But, um, yeah, I was like, like, I am not trying to spend money on car stuff. I'm trying to spend money on my birthday stuff, like stuff that I want to do for my birthday. So what I did was went into, you know, we went in there and the guy was like, oh, yeah, you need a new battery, blah, blah, which we already knew. So... Took the old battery out of the car, went inside, gave them the old battery, and they we bought a new battery. The new battery was, they had one for 170-something and one for 150-something. So, my dad was like, just get the one for 150. It comes with a two-year warranty. Like, if something happens with, to it at the, in the next two years, you can get a brand new battery or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm like, okay, hey, cool. So, get that one, and the guy ended up giving us a discount. So the battery came up to 130 something dollars. And I'm like, thank you. Happy birthday to me. Because I'm not trying to spend two hundred dollars on no battery for real, for real. And um, yeah, so got the battery. And the dude was like, he was like, Yeah, this is like this battery that you brought in is pretty much like the brand the battery that came with the car, like when it was first manufactured. So my car is a 2015 and I got it in 2018. And, um, so that's six years ago. Like, my battery has been kicking for six years. Like, so the ba you know that battery was bombs. It was a Panasonic battery. Um, I know Panasonic, Panasonic from, um, like the TVs and stuff like that. So I was surprised to see the battery in my car to be that. But the liquid and stuff that was inside the battery, you can see that it was down to the lowest like level. So the guy tested the old battery and was basically like, there's no current running through this battery. Like there's nothing. It's literally zero. So he was like, how were you even able to drive it, drive your car here to us to be able to get a battery? And I was just like, that's just <laughs> blessings from God because I needed to get to where I needed to get to today. Like I had plans. So my plan is to get off work, go pack my bag, roll out, go to the hotel, and kick back and relax, and just relax and chill. Like, that was my plan. So, like I said, got that done, got that out the way. Don't have to worry about a battery for the next two years. And let's talk about the good news. So, the good news is I got a promotion at work. And you guys, if you don't know, I'm a teacher now. A high school teacher. I teach foundations of technology, and I haven't been a teacher for a whole a month yet. And I'll it'll be a month on the thirteenth of this uh of this month. So I got a promotion already, and they pretty much asked me to be the department chair over my department. So what does that mean? I have more responsibility, and I'm responsible for my department. So that's crazy i just i can't believe how far like i have come since like last year graduating from college getting my bachelor's degree to you know having a few jobs in between 
and even not having a job for a little while and then you know now finally being a teacher and you know pretty much this is like my big girl job like so I'm super excited I you know pray for this you know these things to be happening in my life and I just feel like a lot of things are just manifesting itself and coming into fruition because just being patient and just trying to stay focused on what's most important I just want to keep on you know progressing you know it can be scary to start a new job and just like not know where to start or where to go and I kind of like I'm in that phase of just like still trying to learn the you know the dynamics of being a teacher because I've never thought about even being a teacher so you know kind of just thrown into that situation and kind of feel like you know I didn't go looking to become the department chair of my department but obviously someone feels like I am fit for the position so I gladly accepted it and it's not a crazy like demanding task but just to have that title is like it's crazy it's really crazy so I'm excited and I cannot wait to just see where I go with it in this career because like a lot of people are like oh you can be you can go back to school and then become a, a principal or da 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 and I'm just like principal but yeah I'm getting ready to kick back watch some TV um and just wait for my bae to get here so I will come back and probably talk to you guys tomorrow when I get up and it'll finally be a baby a birthday okay so yeah i will be back to talk to you guys in the morning and i'm gonna come back and show you guys my makeup when i get it done because they still I'm My boyfriend bought me a freaking, uh, baby, what you call this? Controller? Yeah. For his, look, he bought me a, he bought me a controller for his PS5. <laughs> I don't even have a PS5, but he bought me one. So we're about to open it, okay? All right, hold on. Let's see. Set up the, set up the camera. Hey, you about It's pink, you guys. What is it? Crimson red. It's pink. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's so cute. Babe, this is pink. <laughs> this is not. I'm about to start whooping him in 2K. Yes, sir. But y'all, this is the box. It's our joke because we play uh little, little nightmares. nightmares. 
tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is never seen. About to carve this pumpkin Today is what? October 29th It's not Halloween yet but time for me to get it clean but it, i plan on keeping it clean for a while because it is about to be well it's fall time right now but my car just needs to stay clean and um me and bay are going to kings of man today so i'm getting ready to go get some gas and then we're going then i'm going to go pick him up because we're going to take my car instead um that's why i got it clean um just so we can ride in you know real clean car smelling good all that you know all that goodness um but i'm going to sam's club to get gas because sam's club is sorry i was trying to make a u-turn but sam's club is they still expensive as far as yeah i know y'all have noticed the gas prices like being super crazy high for no freaking reason um but that's what I'm getting ready to go do now. Go get some gas. And we're going to make our way to Kings and Men. And I will probably come back and talk to y'all. Probably when we get to Kings and Men. Or maybe like a little bit of car talk. You know? But I'll let y'all know. Y'all, so we at Kings and Men. We've been, on, we've been here for a few hours now. But um, we're getting ready to get on the yeah. drop tower. And I think the haunted stuff doesn't start until like seven. Um, the lines are kind of like long because I guess because of Halloween or whatever. But we're having fun. Had a few drinks. <laughs> um, but I'll be back to talk to you guys. Bye.